you guys all got to be wondering why, uh, after 60 years of government and military testing, how a gas called voodoo gas should actually be good for you. For decades, it was top secret. Only military could use it in the early stages. Nitrox is a mixture of the two gases we breathe 24-7, 365. It's 79% uh, nitrogen, 24% oxygen, <clears throat> and then 1% of random mixed gases. And that's what we breathe all the time. When uh, I started out diving, I had to dive using compressed air, which is just a regular 79 and 21 mixture. Since then, I've become a nitrox diver, a technical nitrox diver, and I'm a certified tech in mixing nitrox gases. <clears throat> a lot of people are scared to use it just because they haven't used it. They might not have access to it. Um, they might think it costs more, which really nitrox doesn't really cost much more, if any more at all. And some people are just old-fashioned and don't adapt to changes. Um, some of the differences with compressed air and nitrox would be obviously with nitrox you're going to have a higher percentage of oxygen which you could take up to 42 percent. The most regular mixture is 32 percent of nitrox. Slowly but surely, nitrox is making its way into dive shops around the world. It's more expensive to get more tanks and and to switch your banks over to be able to use nitrox. According to Matai Attila, August 25th, 2001, they, a company in Lubbock, Germany, called Draggerwork AG, started testing nitrox, decreasing or decreasing nitrogen, increasing oxygen, and uh, it actually came out with a backpack for a diving suit in the 1920s. World War One really became the most testing on divers among British commander commandos. World War Two. They actually started using it in open water dives. And then in the 1950s, the United States Navy actually got a hold of it and started testing with it. It was kept a secret and never released until the 1960s to the public. But it wasn't welcomed to op with open arms because people were scared to try something different. And some People want to think that nitrox you can dive deeper and it's exactly different. It really limits your depths. But it is a safer gas to use. Nitrogen buildup is what causes decompression sickness or what they call the bends. Um, the bends actually date back to the 1840s among coal miners. And it took a lot of years to realize that, you know, coming back up from the deep coal mine, that people could only withstand certain amounts of nitrogen in their bloodstream. Just so a diver, where it comes to play in the diving world, a diver ascends too quickly, the nitrogen turns into a bubble form, and it'll block blood flow, and that's what causes the bends. Matt Attila, in the study that he did, so decompression sickness occurs two to three times in every 10,000 dives. And about 100 deaths a year, average about 100 deaths a year among divers in the United States. The probability of a diver getting the bends from compressed air is 500 out of 1.98%. And the probability of divers getting the bends from nitrox is 500 out of 1.48%. When you go to the dive shop to pick up your tanks, you want to, you've got to have a certification to be a nitrox diver. So you're going to have to show your certification. You want to check your tanks, 
make sure that they have stamps on them and a sticker which is covered, but that will tell you if it's a nitrox certified tank. They also have a dust cover which is green for nitrox. Also your tank, your your regulators have to be a certain type of hose and regulator also to use nitrox gases. Also, if you're diving a your computer, you want to make sure that your computer is set up to the right percentage of nitrox. Otherwise, it could be wrong and you could also get hurt from that. Really, there's no reason to really dive, you know, nitrox isn't a deep diving gas like some people want to think. It's very limited and there's really, unless you're diving hundreds of feet, there's no reason to even think about using nitrox until you get into shallower water to decompress. Lisa Porter stated that your body tissue retains less residual nitro or nitrogen after nitrox dive. You can return to the water a lot sooner than if you're diving on compressed air. And it also makes your second, third dives much longer instead of cut short as if you were using compressed air. Nitrox, the benefits of nitrox, you can more than double your bottom time. It'll help you feel warmer when you're diving, feel less fatigued so you can do more dives in a day. It'll cut your flight time in half. With compressed air, you can't fly within 24 hours of a dive where nitrox it's cut to 12 hours. So you can actually do a dive you know, the, the day before instead of just sitting around all day. James Odom said in 2001 that diving nitrox, it makes your vision a lot clearer. And you can see the colors in the water, the, the way they're supposed to be seen. On compressed air, the water is going to have more of a green tint to it. When you're diving nitrox, you can the real actual colors will show up, especially in the coral. Nitrox also decreases your chances of bends and nitrogen narcosis. Um, nitrogen narcosis is like when you, they call it the martini effect. I got your attention. About every 50 feet of diving on compressed air is like drinking a martini. And you get down deep and, you know, I've heard of guys hallucinating, seeing things, crabs actually talking to them with their pinchers. And with nitrox, you're going to, you know, knock a lot of that out. After learning about the benefits, you, you all have to wonder, you know, why, why wouldn't everybody be diving nitrox? Everybody doesn't. That's their own prerogative. You know, if that's not what they want to do, then whatever. That's, but now you know the history. You know the difference between the, the compressed air the nitrox and all the benefits. But who wants to be, you know, diving down 125 feet, find something really cool and look at your dive computer and it says that it's time for you to go up because your bottom time with compressed air is only 12 minutes. 32% nitrox, you could be down there for almost a half hour before you have to go up. Now last week in my speech I said that Scuba diving, the very first priority always is safety. And it's always going to be that. But when you're diving nitrox, you're also bringing number one safety and then the number two priority, having fun together because now you're actually able to do more and be a lot safer doing it. 30% of the world is hard land. And 70% uh, of the world is water. And one of the biggest reasons why I became a scuba diver is so I can explore the whole 100%.